we preach on to students about chasing. Golf's not a game of perfect. You don't have to do everything perfect. Your swing doesn't have to be perfect. But then you get instructors trying to, and golfers all around the world, amateurs, trying to hit perfect positions. It's not about that. It's about what we need to do to your ball flight. Okay, is there a ball flight issue? Yes or no, right? And then from there, we dial it back to what's happening and we work our way back to setup, yeah, yeah. right? So with you, you work out setup's fine. I go all the way back to the start. Everything to here is really, really good now, right? And then from here, this lead wrist just stays a little bit cupped and open. That causes the face to be open, right? So we don't need to chase perfect positions as much as we need to write. So that's from there for you. When you've done that, like then you hit that good shot. But it just curved a little bit to the right because the face was open. I've got away with it, but I hadn't really set that too much. But I must have done a little bit unknowingly. Absolutely, the game, the game absolutely. So when you get into this position here, yeah. you almost need to feel that wrist a little bit more dialed down. And it doesn't need to happen here. It doesn't need to happen all at once. It can just happen progressively. But when you get to that point for you, your checkpoint is definitely getting that club head to match your spine yeah, angle I that. right and the reason being is because then when you get down to here you will subconsciously like we said just learn to turn through right as opposed to when that face is wide open here in that delivery you have to 